Alternative finance is very important for European corporates. I mean, our research has shown now that it constitutes about 30% of the funding mix. Uh, so from a European corporate perspective, it's clearly an established part of their, of their menu of options. For me, the alternative investment market is a hugely exciting opportunity. It unlocks capital for borrowers and assets who previously didn't have access to the right funding. We were very encouraged to see the trend towards and the increasing internationalisation of alternative finance, by which I mean a corporate no longer just borrowing from its domestic insurers or pension funds, but actually the deals being made up of investors from a number of European jurisdictions lending into another European jurisdiction. I really am interested in the growth of the international aspect of this um, market the cross-border transactions, I see massive potential for attracting more and more US investors into the European private debt market. And I think we will see that happen in the coming few years. I think standardization is important in any market. It promotes the efficient and economic closing of transactions. In this market, standardization is equally important. That doesn't mean that there has to be one standard form. But if the market coalesces around a number of standard forms, it will promote the cheap and quick closing of transactions. What the report has very interestingly shown us is that this market has been growing. And that's something we've seen, of course, from our practice. But to see a report confirm that over the course of the last three years, consistently, we've seen this market growing in importance to us, that just reaffirms that this market is a structural part of the funding mix in Europe and will remain so for the foreseeable future. So let's not forget that banks play a critical role in developing the alternative finance market because they are the keepers of the lists of borrowers and they also have a very deep network of people with money to lend. Uh, and our research shows that year on year, uh, the use of intermediated private debt has increased, I think, from 48% to 54%, which I think is quite significant.